So the next thing we're going to take a look at is adding backgrounds. And the very first thing that you can see at the top of the screen here, so along the top of the screen there is a like a grey bar that will change depending on the type of uh, media or content you have selected at the time. But when we're looking at our overview, one of the most obvious options there says background. So I'm actually going to click on that and over here on the right hand side you will see the different options available to us. Now as I mentioned earlier when we selected this template I can change this if I want to to the white version of this particular template and in fact for the purpose of this I'm going to leave that selected uh, as the white version. And what I can also do, which I'm going to use right now, is I'm going to upload a background image because whilst I like the image that's there, it doesn't really link to the presentation content that I'm going to um, be talking about. So I just want to create a Prezi about a recent trip that I had um, and I'm going to upload a background now, which I think all of you will be able to guess exactly where it is I've been. So if I hit that upload button, you can see that is now being added into the background. And there it is. So I'm going to create this entire presentation about uh, my journey to the States and various different places that I went to. Um, and actually a little bit of a fluke here, but the, the dotted lines with these kind of white little connecting dots, that was actually already there in the template for me. Um, and if I can grab that and just move it around for you so I can show you that there, that was part of the template, but I actually quite like it. So I'm just gonna leave it there. It kind of links to my travel, uh, travel theme for this particular presentation. What I am gonna do is get rid of the logo. So I'm gonna click on the logo here and just hit the delete button on my keyboard. And I'm then going to get rid of some of these topics that I added. So let's get rid of a couple of these and we'll just have a few that stay on the screen. Now let's dot them around a little bit better so that they don't cover up the Statue of Liberty's face there. Uh, let's bring this one over here. There we go. And of course you can continue to play around with this. Uh, nothing is set in stone. Uh, once you put those things in place. So the image that I grabbed there for that particular background uh, was just a JPEG image. I grabbed that from a free online resource. You can grab uh, JPEG images from places like Shutterstock or iStock Photo. Of course you have to pay for those, but it's really, really important that you have a very strong background image that links to your overarching theme of what it is you're talking about in your presentation. Now, again, I said a second ago, you can change this as we go. And of course, the background options are still open here on the right. So if I want to, I can revert back to the theme uh, background, which was the original background I had. I can remove the background image completely if I want to keep it you know, extremely simple. And there's an option at the bottom that says fit background to overview. So in other words, we want to see the background image in our entire overview. When we zoom back out to our uppermost level and we can see all of the content for the presentation. So we'll leave that as it is. Uh, if you really want to, you can change the background color. Obviously that would be more useful if there was no background image sitting on top of everything. If we just had a completely clear canvas, we could use a color from the color picker here. Uh, or if we wanted to, we could type in uh, a custom color at the very bottom of the screen. And we can also decide what type of gradient we use as well. So whether we have a solid feel, a linear gradient or a radial gradient. So some really useful options there. So now that I've got my background image in place and I'm happy with the position, I've, I've also got my topics in place as well. I'm gonna change the name of those as we go through to make it a bit more meaningful but I'm quite happy with how things are looking right now. So the next stage for me is just to customize this a bit more, change some text, and of course add a, a title on the screen. So let's look at text on the very next video.